Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this one, I'm gonna quickly show you the power of the color picker tool. Now, what the color picker tool is, basically, is it allows you to select any color you want and apply it to whatever you're working with. So let's reset our studio to make sure we have the same screen by going up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. And we're gonna create a new document by going File, New. And I'm picking FHD, there is no wrong answer, pick whatever you like. Okay, so let me show you quickly what that means. So I'm gonna just draw a circle, okay? I'm gonna draw the circle out. I'm gonna go up to my color tab in the top right and with my fill color selected, this front circle here, the lower front circle, I'm gonna move this around and I'm just gonna pick this pink, okay? And I have a pink circle. Cool, great. Okay, we're done. No, I'm done. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so let's add something else. Now I'm gonna add a, another shape. Let's add a triangle. I'm gonna add a triangle. It's gonna remember the last color I used, which is this pink, and I'm gonna change it to this blue color, right? Now the awesome thing about Affinity, which they've done in Affinity Photo 2, is it remembers your last color. So now you know you can, it knows I used white and black, and I have this blue and this pink, so it's seen that. Now that's great. Now say I had a picture, and I liked a certain hue in a picture or a certain color. I'm gonna go over to stock here, and I'm just gonna type in color, all right? Now I know we haven't talked too much about the stock um, tab, but it's great. You can basically pull photos right out of here and work with them. So I'm gonna grab this um, this one, right? I'm gonna grab this picture here. Now to take a picture, you can basically just click on it, drag it over, you can see the plus symbol on my mouse, and let it go. Now it's gonna be a big picture, so it's probably gonna be massive. So what we're gonna do on our keyboards is you're either gonna go to a shortcut uh, to zoom out, or you're gonna go view, zo view, zoom, zoom out. And you can do that a couple times, or on your Mac, hit Command minus. On your PC, hit Control minus. And to zoom in, Command plus or PC Control plus. So now that I've got this picture, this really big picture, I'm gonna zoom out, and you can see the bounds of the picture. I'm gonna just shrink it down by just clicking on any one of these nodes and just pulling it down. So I'm gonna put this picture over here. I'm gonna zoom back in so you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my layers panel. So now you can see I have a pink ellipse, I have a blue triangle, and then I have this picture here. If I really liked one of these colors, I could use the color picker and change my shape to that. So there's a couple ways to do it. There's a color picker tool over here. So if I click on this, I'm gonna get this little uh, cross eye or this little bullseye. And say I wanted to use this, whatever, this, uh, let's pick this green over here. If I click on it, that's gonna, because my shape was selected, it's gonna change it to that green. It's gonna sample it and change it to that green. I'm gonna undo that. And to do that, I'm gonna hit Command Z on your PC. You're gonna hit Control Z just to go back. I think you can probably do it up here too. Edit, yeah, undo. I um, I always use shortcuts, but yeah, you can always go, to, if you ever make a mistake, go up to Edit, Undo. It'll undo the last step or hit Control Z or Command Z. Uh, Command Z for a Mac, Control Z for a PC. So say I wanted to change this circle to something. So I have the circle selected. You can see I'm moving it around in the layers panel. It's also lit up, so I'm selecting it. Now this is the way I prefer to do it, is it actually shows you the color that you're picking. I'm gonna click on this color picker tool up here, this little circle, and I'm gonna click my mouse and drag. And as you can see, now it's gonna let me really sort of, I can see what it's looking at, where it's trying to, what color it's, it's more of a visual representation. So I say I, I was like, I like this yellow. I'm gonna unclick my mouse, and when I do that, this doesn't change, but the color up here has. So now it's loaded this color. So because I have this selected, I'm just gonna go here, and I'm gonna change it to that color. If I went here and I wanted the same color, it's still loaded. I can go up here, and I can select it from here, or it remembers it now, and I can use it here, and it'll change it to that color. And you can zoom in, again, if you really are looking for a certain color in this picture, you can really zoom in, grab your color picker, so click, hold, and it'll really let you select the color that you're looking for. Sometimes that's helpful in like making titles or things that you want to be the same. I'll, I'll try to do something really quick on the fly here. Um, let's go to like a cool picture. Let's pull this in and I'm gonna zoom out again because this is probably gonna be big. I'm hitting uh, command minus. You would hit control minus on a PC. And I'm gonna grab the bounds of this picture and just pull it in just so I can see a little bit better here. All right, now say I added some text. I'm gonna add some text from the text here. I'm gonna click the artistic text tool and I'm gonna say design, period. I'm gonna change the text to white so you can see it. Now, this looks okay, but say I wanted to change it to this yellow or a similar color. Again, I could click the color picker tool up here 
I prefer to go here, click on it, drag it down, and really find the color that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna change it to this one here. It's now loaded in my color picker up here. I have what I want selected, and it'll change to that color. So now I've matched it to this color down here. One other thing I wanna show you about the color picker tool, which is really awesome, is you don't even have to be in Affinity to grab a color. I'm gonna change my screen here. So I'm gonna go from full screen to a, um, like not a full screen. I'm gonna show you how that works. So now you can see on the right-hand side, this is some of my desktop. So if I grab the color picker tool, so I got text selected. If I grab this color picker, <laughs> color picker tool, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> guys, I need some water. If I click and hold and drag it out here, now I can sample colors out here. So it's, you're not even confined to Affinity. You can grab whatever your mouse can see. So I'm gonna grab this purple just to show you. Now it's loaded in my color picker. I have what I want selected. I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna change it to that color. So the color picker tool is very, very powerful. It's great when you're doing compositions and you want things to match or you wanna change something to a certain color so it blends in. That's the basic idea of the color picker tool. I hope this was helpful. If you got any questions or comments, please let me know. Please hit like and I'll see you in the next one.